Well, shockingly, I'm sick again, but with the power of modern medicine and espresso, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling all right now, you know? At least the best I've been since a few days ago. So yeah, before the meds and espresso wear off, let's watch a YouTube video. Hello guys. There he is. And happy holidays. Thank you. You're so sweet. that bikers encountered this week. I'm ready for it, man. What do we got? Slow. Blows right through a stop sign. Oh god. I am sick, so the my reflexes are not as fast. So I might need to rewind some of this stuff. It right, blows right through stop. Yeah, I see it now. Okay. Yeah, idiot. Dummy. Farhad Zamani. Hope I said that right. No right signal. Is that, or is that just the frame rate not matching with the lights? Saw that, right? The little flicker? I don't think he's seeing that, though. I think that's just the camera thing. See, I'll, I'll take it. He didn't put on his blinker. What an idiot. Get another dummy. What is wrong with these people? He has the full stop, no right signal also. Yeah, I mean, it's funny, but we all know it. Not enough people use blinkers. How can you expect people to be safe when you're not even informing people about what you're going to do? Speed hunters. This is a speedy clip. You're going to go fast. Close one, dude. I didn't see blinkers the first time. Again, I didn't see him the second time. But either way, good brakes. You know, he got out of there. He evaded. Okay, blinkers, but... That doesn't excuse the complete stop in the middle of the road, dude. Jeez. Yeah, the right turn lane was there. Yeah, he missed it. I mean, this is not exactly how, but this is similar to how I got into my first crash. They tried making a left-hand turn, but from the right, the furthest right lane, and they just blew right in front of me. You know, now that I have my super fast ninja reflexes, you know, maybe I could have dodged it now, but I mean, I was driving a van when that happened. This was a long time ago, and uh, yeah, it happens, but you know, I wasn't, I wasn't ready, you know? This guy was, and the stakes were higher, you know, when you're on a bike, you don't just get a dent in your fender, you get a dent in your, in your skull, <laughs> you know, you break some bones. You don't want to crash on a bike. Yep. Everyone we're seeing is pretty good so far, you know, everyone's on it. That was really close. <laughs> that was really close. A lot of people I think would have messed up there. See, sometimes drivers and motorcycle riders get into the same thing where they kind of go into zombie mode, or like autopilot mode. They'll see a guy do something, make a maneuver, and then they'll just follow right behind them without thinking. The minute I would have seen this guy just blow through there, like this which he had the space and time to do, I would still be on the lookout for something like this, some guy following him, not paying attention. Yeah, that could have been really bad. I don't even think the car stopped. He slowed down. Yeah, the car slowed down, but he didn't stop. So, I mean, if he would have just kept on going the way he was going, he would have gotten blasted. Good job, man. Oh, that's rude. Okay, let's see what he does here. Good, good maneuver. He's thinking about it right now. He's, he's weighing the pros and cons. Are we gonna go for a mirror smack? Ah, oh, the classic. We've seen this a lot on the channel. The classic thousand yard stare. If I don't see the problems I've caused, they don't exist. Nope, and she still doesn't. <laughs> yeah, people don't care, man. What's gonna happen here? Oh, that's tragic, man. How did that even happen? From the angle, I don't think he was that tilted either. I mean, I'm guessing, see right there, he lost traction. Maybe he hit the brakes. Maybe that's what caused it. Maybe he just slid out from something being on the road, but I don't know if he was tilted far enough for that to have happened. I don't know, maybe he just came up on that corner and got a little spooked and maybe hit the brakes a little too hard. Maybe. Motorbike slides off the road with rider alongside it. Luckily, due to the wearing protective clothes, there were no serious damage to the rider. That's good. Yeah, at least he was wearing gear, man. I mean, so every place is different, but where I live, I am one of the few people in my general vicinity that actually wears gear. Like, most people near me don't even wear helmets. I mean, young riders, old riders, none of them wear gear. No one's ever asked me this, but like, if someone were to ask why I wear gear when no one else does, I would say just to keep it short, people learn from mistakes, and you don't always have to make the mistakes yourself to learn from them. It can be other people's mistakes. And every single rider that I've talked to, besides maybe the one or two ones that that I know of that are really new. Every single one of them has went down. I'm not saying they got hit by cars or anything or have permanent injuries, but some of them do. But every single one of them has gone down at some point. And I know that's not something that a lot of newer guys, if you're watching this video and you're a newer rider, you're a guy thinking about getting to motorcycle riding. I have to be honest, and that's just how it is. At least where I live, every single person that I know has gone down at some point. Even going down 10, 20, 30 miles an hour on the road with no cars hitting you, you could just slide on the pavement, but you will get absolutely destroyed 
ride without gear. I mean, skateboarders know this more than anybody. A lot of times on a skateboard, you're not going fast, but the minute you hit your head, you know, it's it's lights out or lights out forever. So, I mean, and also there's a lot of crashes on YouTube where people go sliding 10, 20, 30 feet on the pavement. And if they wear gear, they just get up like it's nothing. They don't have to go to the hospital because trust me, from somebody who has gone to the hospitals for injuries outside of motorcycle riding, it sucks and it's expensive. It's like I'd rather pay for a thousand dollars worth of gear as opposed to paying like multiple annual salaries to pay off hospital bills. You know, it's just not worth it for me. So yeah, not to be your parent telling you you have to wear gear, but I'm just saying it, it made sense for me. It makes sense in my little brain. Yeah, we survived. Mr. Max, not Max Wrist. Wow, <laughs> that was the craziest way I've ever seen someone stop a speed wobble. You just slap that thing back to reality. <laughs> just, <laughs> who does that? Wow. Such as improper tire pressure, misaligned suspension components, or a damaged tire. It's important to stay calm and try to relax your grip on the handlebars. Gradually reduce your speed by gently applying the brakes. So that, what he just said there is controversial, the last part. So relaxing your grip is a pretty well-known thing. You don't want to be gripping the bars super tight during a speed wobble, trying to correct the speed wobble, because the bike most of the time will do it for you, but if you fight it, or if you try to do it yourself, you might just make things a lot worse and then go down. But what he said about slowly dropping speed, I know for a fact that there's people who swear by either gunning it, like start speeding up through the speed wobble to get weight off your front tire so that it can realign easier, or going the same speed. I know there are people who also believe in that, but going slower during a speed wobble, I, I actually don't know about that. I mean, let's make this clear. I haven't been in a speed wobble yet, thankfully. I'm just telling you what I've heard. So I mean, if you're getting in a speed wobble, I mean, just Choose any of the three. Punch through it, stay neutral, or slow down. I mean, it's your call, you know? Or just slap the thing. <laughs> I'm taking notes, by the way. I hope I don't ever have to try that, but I mean, uh, that's something. <laughs> I say, come here, baby. But yeah, you also have to say, come here, baby. The most crucial step. All right, we're out here with Poppy Jixer doing burnouts in front of white Toyotas. Classic alpha move. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think he's trying to tell him to be quiet. Yeah, the universal symbol is this, but I mean, I get he's old, so I mean, maybe he can't control his fingers anymore, so he has to he has to do this for quiet. I mean, he's brave. I'll give him that. Being, what, 70, 80, 90 years old, going up in front of, what, like, eight, nine bikers, telling them to be quiet. <laughs> I mean, all it takes is one push or a gust of wind, and you're... Your, your light's out forever. So, I mean, yeah, he's brave. He's a brave guy. I'll give him that. You'll always have those older people who are annoyed by your bike, you know? If you're just riding past somebody and they get mad at you for being too loud, then it's just whatever. But, I mean, you know, in situations like this, don't be surprised if you see this guy show up. So, I mean, it is what it is. Going faster than I should have. Speed limit drops from 50 to 40, and we're going 65. It's gonna drop pretty quickly, then. <laughs> we're already going 15 over the other speed limit. Uh-oh. Smooth brakes, man. Nice. Very smooth brakes. A lot of guys, when they see it, they'll just uh, Whoa! grab a handful of front brake and they'll just go flying over the bars. This guy didn't have a lot of stuff in his favor either. Look at that. A hill preventing him from seeing what's in front of him. The sun in his eyes. Good job. All things considered, good job, man. Watching the mirrors just in case. Yeah, because you don't know who's behind you. You know, they could be going 65 too, for all we know, and just plowing to everybody. Smart move, man. The Liquor Chronicles. Oh, snap, dude. Close one, man. Close. Yeah, man. Cold, wet roads, man. It, they're dangerous. Oh, Jocko. Broccoli sucks. Yeah! Don't eat your broccoli, kids. Oh. No blink. Again. I'm not even surprised. Yeah, my note. I hope that's not like a, a curse word. Hopefully he's just saying, you dummy. I'm not swearing, YouTube. Don't, don't hurt me. I'm being flashed. Okay, so some guy is flashing him with his brights. This is very odd music to put before a confrontation, so I mean, he's probably not gonna get into a fist fight right now, I'm guessing. Yeah, this music's not giving off fight vibes. If, if a fight does happen, it'd be very out of place. Okay, I don't think he's trying to fight. Okay, now he's got his hazards on. Okay, we're, we're stopping. We're either getting mugged or we're having a nice, friendly interaction. I can't remember, just put, put LED backpack, up a whole list of them. Then you can change it to whatever you want, as you can see. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, in all fairness, we haven't seen his backpack. It might be, it might be insane. I would never stop somebody for something like that, but I mean, oh, well, that looks pretty cool. To any graphic, any words, graffiti, anything I want. That's pretty dope, man. I mean, can you do animations and stuff? Because that'd be, that'd be really sick. Work smarter, not harder, guys. If your bike ever breaks down, just shove that foot underneath a bus and uh, just be on your way. The flying... Oh, wait a minute. Flying Scotsman. This guy was on the last video. The Flying Scotsman. Interesting name. Oh, I hope he doesn't earn that name in this video. 
Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, so yeah, that is a cycle lane. Yeah, you were supposed to merge there. If he would have merged right then and there, that guy would have just smacked him from behind. So close one. Could have been bad, but he was ready. He was watching. I'm saying you're meant to change lane after it opens. I was pulling in there and you just went right back. Yes, you after it opens. Could have killed me. Love that guy. How this clip ended up in our episode, since it only involves cars. Yeah, does he Black hit up bike biker? 50, who is passionate biker, and we featured few of his motor clips already. Okay. But this time, he got involved in road rage while driving his car. Take okay. Look. Was he a victim of road rage, or was he the road rager? Okay, I can't understand what they're saying, but it would appear this guy's driving slow. Maybe too slow. Uh-oh. Oh, what are we doing here, dude? Are we brake checking him? Oh! Did he hit him? Yeah, he's angry. Oh, snap! <laughs> so that's the knife that I saw in the thumbnail. Look at this guy, stone cold, just like chilling. I'm thirsty. I don't care about your little mace, your little pepper spray. I don't think he got hit too bad, all things considered. But still, I mean, you... I mean, so maybe there was stuff that happened before this, like maybe Knife Boy assaulted white car driver and this is how this whole thing started. Maybe, I, I don't know. But from what I see, <laughs> this guy's not in the right. I mean, from what it looks like, it's like brown car was driving too slow. White car guy didn't like that. So we take matters into our own hands and slow down in front of him. Heavy, like nearly brake checking the guy. Then we go out to fight him. Dude pulls out a, that has gotta be the smallest knife I've seen. It looks like a USB flash drive or something. I mean, it's definitely a blade. It's definitely a blade of some sort, but either way, I mean, I don't care if you're coming at me with a little butter knife, you know, if I have mace, I'm using it. I only live once, man. I'm not taking that chance. And then our guy here sprays inside of the car, effectively decommissioning the car. And then a the guy goes like, you know what? Got some water here. I'm just gonna chill in the middle of the road. I don't know. I'm definitely not on this guy's side. I mean, let's make that clear. At least of, at least of now, I'm not on his side. If I was this dude, I would have just skipped this whole cinematic and just kept on going, you know? <laughs> you don't need to fight every battle you're presented with, especially if I'm on a bike. If I'm on a bike, I'm not brake checking a car with a ladder on top. I'm gonna wind up dying like in some final destination way with that ladder going through my head. <laughs> yeah, I would have skipped the cutscene. All right, next clip from the Liquor Chronicles. Parking next to this beefy boy. About to get some drank. What's up? Park in the road, it's gonna get knocked over. Okay, try not to hit it though, okay? Okay, is that a warning or a threat? Yeah. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Watch him just clip him right here. <laughs> just like, might get knocked over, call! Plenty of space. Okay, he didn't do that. I didn't think he was, but like there was that sliver of a chance of that happening. That would have been hilarious. Okay, we're out here in the dirt with the boys. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. Oh my god. No, that's tragic. That's horrible. That brand new 2023 ATV straight off the showroom floor. And now look at it. Probably got a scratch on it now. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I think that's a nice thing about having something like this, you know, just something for fun to throw around. You're not really too upset when you get new dents or new battle scars, you know? Motorcycles, it's different. If you drop a motorcycle, I mean, it, you're, you just can't get your mind off of the one scratch or one dent that's on the bike, you know? So yeah, it's what they're meant for. They're tough. Igor LC7 riding with the boys. Okay, it would appear this guy's gonna try to pass. But there's a bend? Oh no! Oh, that's sad and embarrassing too. Try to pass your homie who's probably a newer rider and then you wind up crashing. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even try turning, man. That bike didn't even like tilt at all. Target fixation just went to the woods. I mean, if you want to turn left, look left. Because look, that bike just stood up. Tragic. I think he's all right though. I, I think. Okay, he got up. I was gonna say, if he didn't get up, he's probably not okay. New channel. What is this? Mountain cabin? Lego excavator versus firecrackers. Okay, so it would appear that Dirt Bike Lunatic has a second channel called Bomb Squad. And from what I've seen, I watched this first video, but from what I've seen, it's basically a craft slash destruction. Like those hydraulic press channels, only it's with a car tire. Really cool stuff, man. I mean, yeah. I hope it works out. Go subscribe to Bomb Squad. Let me know in the comments if there's any videos or channels I should check out. Also, let me know what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see more motorcycle related content? Or do you want me to do commentary over other types of videos? Let me know. And, uh... I thought I had more to say, but that's actually it. Bye-bye.